presented by Seat77.com. As always, Dave Dubai is coming to you live from the Super Plus Seat 77 broadcast studio in the heart of Silicon Valley. Now, Dave Dubai. North America. Thanks for tuning in to the Dave Dubois Big Show. And now for a quick rundown of the world of sports. Coming up on today's Dave Dubois Big Show, I will tell you if the World Series trophy and the NBA trophy are actually going to go out on a date in the city of Cleveland. But today we begin with the shocking, unbelievably shocking news that Norv Turner the offensive coordinator of the 5-2 and two Minnesota Vikings just shows up in Eden Prairie, Minnesota and resigns. That's right. A offensive coordinator for a football team that is 5-2 and two just decides to resign. Norv Turner, who has coached for basically every National Football League franchise that there is, just decides to resign. Absolutely unbelievable. The Vikings shocked. Mike Zimmer shocked. The reason for it, basically, Turner said that there were some philosophical differences between him and Mike Zimmer. Look, I got to tell you, this Minnesota Vikings offense under North Turner this year has been terrible, but you can't blame him. The offensive line is brutal. Absolutely brutal. The Vikings are so bad that they picked up Jake Long, who hadn't played in the National Football League for years, stuck him in a game after, like, I don't know, 10 reps during practice and expected him to be like a pro bowler offensive lineman. Look, the Vikings offensive line is so bad that they are just reeling with issues left and right. They can't pass protect, and they certainly can't run uh, the ball. It doesn't matter if Adrian Peterson was there. There are no holes in Minnesota for running backs to run through. Look, I got to tell you, Norv, you're five and two. Yes, there's a gaping hole in the Viking ship and it's leaking water, but you don't abandon ship midway through the season. You stick with it. Norv Turner, you, my friend, are really, truly today's worst person in all of the world of sports. All right, elsewhere around the National Football League, a media story for you, if you will. Baldy, Brian Bulginger of the NFL Network, uh, shows up on a Philadelphia radio station last week. This was like five, six days ago. And he suggests, he suggests that the Eagles defense should put a bounty on Ezekiel Elliott. The NFL Network waits like five days and they turn around and suspend Baldy for making this statement. Look, uh, you know, r- you get on a radio show, you're a, a media guy like uh, like Baldy is now, and you just say stuff. This is an absolutely ridiculous suspension by the NFL Network. Look, Baldy was just pandering to the Philadelphia Eagle audience, and you're going to turn around and suspend him. NFL Network, absolutely uh, ridiculous, if you ask me. All right, um, elsewhere around the world of sports, we've got Game 7 of the World Series uh, tonight. I can't wait. Now, originally, and I'm sticking with it, I picked the Indians to win it in 7. Um, so that looks like a real possibility. Um, but I started to really kind of think about this. And can you imagine if the Indians actually do win this? Basically, the World Series trophy and the NBA trophy would be able to go out on a date. (laughs) Like Match.com, the only match that would come up for either of these trophies would be each other. They'd go out on a date, and on that date, they'd sit there and they'd talk to each other, and they'd be like, I can't believe we're in the city of Cleveland. How did this happen that both of us are in the actual city of Cleveland? Absolutely ridiculous if you ask me so tonight when game seven is going while i have picked the indians i will be rooting for the cubs i cannot have i cannot have two out of four of the major championship trophies residing in the city of cleveland look the super bowl trophy 
will not be there anytime soon. It might fly over the city of Cleveland, but it has no chance of spending any real time in Cleveland at all. All right, um, elsewhere around the world of sports, we are one week into the National Basketball Association season. And so far, no real surprises. I mean, the Lakers did get a win, so that was a little shocking. But other than that, the Pelicans, the Suns, the Wizards, ah, uh, Bullets, are terrible. The 76ers, brutal. Just bad basketball teams at the bottom and a bunch of mediocre basketball teams in the middle. Exactly what we suspected would start this year's National Basketball Association season. I will say this. I I had a chance to watch the Utah Jazz uh, last night against the San Antonio Spurs. And that is a team, when healthy, uh, that could be kind of interesting. But beyond that, everything else has kind of gone as planned. All right, North America, big game seven tonight in the World Series. Get behind the Cubs. We cannot have two of the major sports championship trophies in the city of Cleveland. Absolutely unacceptable. Go Cubbies. (laughs) All right, North America, uh, we are available. uh, The Dave DeBall Big Show, I should say, is available on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Spreaker, um, uh, of course, our big iTunes channel is blowing up, and our big announcement, we are now on iHeartRadio as well. For the Dave DeBaugh Big Show, I am Dave DeBaugh, reminding you that not everyone can be a champion, Ron Rivera, but everyone, and I do mean everyone, can act like one Cam. Get it together, Cam. And good luck, North America. <laughs> <laughs>